Good morning, we're in the Lake District in Keswick and we're heading to the George Fisher shop to do the George Fisher tea round. Off we go, heading for cat belts first. So the tea round again today. So yet again, we're going up to cat bells. Have a look in there with water. Got Barrow here. We'll be later. Cozy Pike and rolling end. Just still heading up Cat Bells. Do a bit more to. Just went over Skelgill Bank and Cat Bells is directly in front of us. Newlands Valley. Don't know if you can make out Robinson right at the head of the valley. Some more llama, alpaca llamas. <laughs> Newlands Church. Two miles to Robinson. All uphill. <laughs> Got this short, steep, grassy ascent. Has started to rain. Well, it's uh, it's quite warm, so I don't think Wall Street Jack is going to do us any good. Too warm for that. Let's see how it goes when we get higher up. Start of a rainbow over there. I don't know if you can see it. Top of the valley. All the way down to the bottom of the valley. Deal with water. Heading up Robinson. Bit of a scramble ish. Top of Robinson now, not far to go. It's going up to Robinson for summit number two. to descend to Bustamere quite a steep descent if I remember correctly just 
just need to remember. <laughs> Great view of Buttermere, Crumet Water in the distance. We've got a high style red pike in front of us. By a tree. Flattened off a little. You can actually move now. Running down the side of bottom here. Fleetworth Pike in front of us. We're not going up there today. We're heading to High Style, which is up that way. Hello. <laughs> Quite the welcoming party. <laughs> Heading down the side of Buttermere now. So we're heading, high style. I think high style is probably the toughest ascent of the day. Still quite a bit to do. Some incredible views. I need lucky today. Well, that was a nasty ascent. Still got a bit more to go, but the views from here are well worth it. Have a look. Just having a flapjack after that uh, hell of a climb. So, you got High Style directly in front of us, centric camera, and then you got Red Pike. Now you centre a camera. High style is one of the fells we've got to visit. Red Pike isn't, but we're going down by it that way. Let's go up to high style. This is summit number three. Hi there. Hello. Hi. <laughs> no, you YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> this is on YouTube. You Heading towards Red Pike. Top of Red Pike. This is the scree skiing descent of Red Pike. You well stand your feet. Now we've got no steps. This is going to take us past Bleebury Town. You can see that. Heading back then towards bottom here. That's a tough section. And the climb out of bottom here up towards Wetless Pike is not the easiest either. It's quite the descent. Uh, glad we've done that. We're in halfway now. Uh, probably a little more than half the ascent done. So we'll press on. 
they're heading up towards Whiteless Pike. Absolutely gorgeous views, Crummet Water and Buttermere. On the way up to Whiteless Pike. It's gone really, really warm now. I really wish I was wearing a t shirt. Oh well, press on. So good at Whiteless Pike. Top of Whiteless Pike. Heading on over to Hobcart and Crag. We are just over 8,000 foot of ascent. That is the, the most ascent in a single activity since we did Cheviot Goat early December. And dog, I just know it. Decent water source just before the climb to Hobcart and Crag. On the way up to Hobcart and Crag. After that is Grasdale Pike. From there we turn back in ourselves. Go all the way back down. Before going up Crag Hill. Let's go up to summit number four, which is Hubcart and Crag. Up is Grisdale Pike, which is what you see in front of us. And this is Grisdale Pike for summit number five. Five, I think. Back down again, back past Hopcart and Crag, and make our way up Crag Hill. But you can pretty much see the route all the way back to Keswick. It's going around the Hopcart and Crag, point that's going back up it, and dive out in front of us. It's Crag Hill. And that's where we're going up. Nice little scree, scramble thing. Quite steep. It's horrible. Horrible. <laughs> but we're nearly there, so we yeah. can't quit now. Yeah. Keep going. So from here, you're pretty much looking down the Coldale Horseshoe. Fantastic route. Hey Cheryl, flying up Crag Hill, kicking my ass again. <laughs> Pretty much the ascent of Crag Hill done. It's just in front of us. I think. A quarter of a mile away. Oh, that was difficult. It's lovely, isn't it? I think it's time for something else to eat. This is Crag Hill. Oh. Oh. What an absolute stunning day it's turned into. Snickers and Chia Charge Bar, trying to get some energy back. <laughs> Hopefully, finish this off quite well. Oh, right. Sail. Sail next. And 
this is sail. We are getting there. That is summit number seven. Three to do. The native and living zigzags. I'm craving Coca-Cola, slushies, anything icy. See the zigzags of sail, this has just come off. We're heading up to Scar Crags, before making our way to Corsi Pike. Scar Crags. Used today so much better than the last time we were here. You can actually see everything around. Screw up towards the top of Causey Pike, which is summit number eight. We have a short item back to rolling end. See in front of us. Then we don't come all the way back to Causey but come towards it. We will then summit Barrow before making our descent back towards the George Fisher shop in Keswick. Descent, but it's a fun one. And here's some back to rolling end. It's around half a mile out, half a mile back before we drop down and climb Barrow. So, not too bad. I think most of the work's been done today. Really pleased with how it's gone. It's absolutely killed us, but what do you expect? Going on to rolling end for oh, summit number nine. Oh. Oh. This Keswick and there it was. And that's Barrow. And we are turning back on ourselves. Made our way back to the cairn and now we'll start the descent. I think it's part path, part rough. It's not a path, it's a trod. <laughs> Just thinking about that. It's definitely not a path. Made it down to the river crossing. Well, now we go back up to Barrow. Barrow's over there. So, 
under a quarter of a mile off Barrow and it feels like a, a very long one Summit number 10 Barrow Me. Well, we kind of made it We've just got, I think around about 4 miles Let's get back to Keswick Making our way through a very, very busy Keswick And coming up to the George Fisher shop at the end of our route I'm done. <laughs> that was hard. That was tough. So glad to finish. That was that was really tough. Uh, I got to be honest. Not done the not done the proper training for this kind of distance or ascent, but we've managed it. This is all we wanted. All we could hope for. Time for a nice cold drink yeah, and definitely. maybe a Cornish pasta. What do you reckon? I need some food. Right. I need some Come juice. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Bye Thank bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.